what they're called? Heteropomia. Because you got one blue eye and one black eye. Or no, you got one brown eye. You know, legend says that heteropomia, the brown eye is that you see the realm of the living. And the blue eye is that you see the realm of the dead. Something like that. That's really cool. Is that why he sometimes goes and stares off into space? Yeah. And he looks at ghosts? Because I feel like he does that a lot. Where he looks at ghosts? Where he just like, all of a sudden he'll be looking off into nothing and he'll just be like... Wait! <laughs> Like staring? Remember when he stares and we're like, Bandit, what are you doing? Like, why are you staring at us? Talk, do something. But I've never met a husky like quite like that, where they just don't like talk. And then like, I'll be on the phone with my mom, where she has his sister, and all I'll hear is <laughs> like crazy, crazy, crazy shit. Aspen, is that you? The other day we're watching TV, and we're just, it's like, you know, eight o'clock at night, nine o'clock at night, we're unwinding, and like, lights are out, and all of a sudden, Ben just walks up to us. Like, he's probably good, like, three feet away from us, and just goes like this. For like a whole five minutes. It was so awkward. <laughs> you offended him. How dare you? How dare you talk about my son like that? He's our son. He's offended. Son. He's offended. First of all. What is he doing? <gasps> the trash. He's looking at the trash man. Did we put the trash out? No, we missed it yesterday. Well, we just missed it now too. Oh crap. There, there they go. What's up? Nothing, I'm just getting over a little mini cold. We just, uh, we got back from DC. Uh, it's our first time there, so we had a lot of fun. But I, I, we got sick before the trip, got better, and then I got sick after the trip. So that tells me a little something. I think we're working a little too crazily. A little too crazily. <laughs> As usual. Um, mm. Yeah, so, but DC was pretty fun. We went with Jared and Jason, or they're our travel buddies. We actually did see, we didn't get, I mean, obviously see Biden, but we did see him drive by because they had like this like, uh, it's like a parade almost of cars. It was really weird to see. Like I, I was kind of freaked out at first because where we all were because we saw just like, what did we see? We saw like honking and like there was like sirens blaring and yeah. people like recording everywhere and there's like 10 million piece police cars. They had little flags on some of the cars. So they had a bunch of decoy cars so you didn't know which one he was in. And there was like six or seven, maybe 10 of the same car, right? And they were all tinted windows so you just didn't know which one he was in. They weren't playing around, but I mean, we should do the same thing when we drive places. Like if we go to the, the grocery store, we should have just like 15 cars, cops, Sirens blaring, cops flashing their lights. But we should get 15 more bandits and put them in there as decoys too. Yes! Now when we come home, we can just have 15 bandits and we can have a whole army. Oh my god, can you imagine the fur? Imagine the fur with just one. It's like a swimming pool of fur in here all the time. I know, it's kind of cool. He, now that summer is coming to an end, he's like it's not shedding nearly as much, but there's still like, there's still a lot of fur. I just vacuumed too. <laughs> I can see fur. I can literally see fur. And I just vacuumed. Oh, he's standing by the back door, staring. He wants to go out. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> you ready for the walk? What are you doing? <laughs> oh my gosh. Uh, you look so crazy. <laughs> this is so good. Yeah, I was trying to use this before we go on our walk. You guys actually subscribers sent us this the other day with a couple other stuff. And they didn't put a name on it, so we're not trying to be rude by not thanking you, but um, <laughs> thank you so much for it. Yeah, it's been working out great. As you can see. You wanna try it out before we go walk? I think you're, you're, you're good. <laughs> I don't wanna take it away from you. All right, let's, uh, let's go on our walk. <laughs> before we get too carried away. Time for a walk? Yeah. Where are we gonna walk? Um, we could probably take them to the river walk. They've never seen our little river walk walk. You guys want to go to the river walk? Or should we go on like a big like, we should do like a mountain climb. No. We should practice for Everest. Did you see the line for Everest lately? There's a line to get up on Everest? Yeah, I just saw a post about it. There's like a line to get up on Everest right now just because everyone wants to do it. The mountain? Yeah. Like mountain. Everest, Everest. Yeah. 
The one that uh, people died trying to climb? Yeah. There's a line for that? There's like literally you could see a line of people just waiting to get it up there. At the no, I want to see this. Yeah, it's just because I think maybe people are like... Ready to die? No, no. To I freeze mean, to death? No, I think it's just like people are looking for more extreme things to do after the pandemic and everything, you know? I don't know. So that's what they're doing? I mean, I I don't think I could climb a mountain like that. It's not just like you climb up and then you're you're then you climb back down. It's like a journey. It's a journey. Like yeah. you're camping. You're ju you need oxygen and stuff. It's in China. It's in the Himalayas. Do you want to do it together? Do what? Uh, climb Everest. Are you seriously asking me if I want to climb Everest right now? Wouldn't seriously? that make for a good video? No. Let me get this straight. Or or gay in your case. <laughs> in my case. Yeah. Um. So you would. Not jump out of a plane. No. But you would climb Mount Everest. I would definitely climb Mount Everest, and this is not even joking. I would definitely climb Mount, e Mount Everest way before I would jump off a damn plane. What? Yes. Well, I mean, I, I should probably read up a little bit more information on it before I come up with that final decision, but I definitely would rather do that. There's no lizards on Everest, though. Or are there? Maybe there's like a little cute snow lizard, like the one on, um, What's that movie? Frozen 2? It, I, this, I guess it's, not, it's, it's a fire lizard. <laughs> Bandit. And it's getting pissed. We should probably go on the walk. <laughs> I see people, but I don't see people. They're running your, behind you. You ready for a journey? I am. All right, Our, let's go. Pokemon journey? Yeah. Oh my God, that gate's open. That is very dangerous. Oh, your steps, though. Where to the ocean? <laughs> oh, I guess like. Or right. the river? That's so weird. The steps go right to the water. I know, it's just like walking right into the water. You think there's alligators here? We're in the south. Let's go home. <laughs> what? Well, well, that was a short walk. Great. Here we are trying to get some exercise in. And the one time we come here to get some exercise and it's closed off. <laughs> this, the road is closed off. It looks like it's about to rain. Maybe it's just a sign we should go back and make some cookies and call it a day. I mean, we did try. I mean, we did. We tried our best, but it says caution. We can't cross it if it says caution. All right. Well, I guess we should just go make cookies. <gasps> well, guys, you saw that we tried. So... Fail. What are we gonna do? I mean, if it's closed off, we can't go on a walk. It's not like there's anywhere else in this town to walk, so. I got Time to make some cookies? What do you. Well, we could go on the. Are the you walk. Pokemon hunting without me? No. You son of a. Yeah.